Uh, currently in Walmart. You think they'll stop them after a certain hour? No. Anyway. Oh, yo, you got to hook up. I forget. Yeah, I will. I will. Ready? Three, two, one. Marco! Hold up! <laughs> <laughs> um, doing some more work on the quarter panel. I, uh, just sanded it down with some 36 grit right now. Just, uh, knock down all the high spots and shit. And, uh, probably gonna undercut it, so I'm gonna have to go over it again, but it's whatever. I carpeted the whole car. It actually looks really good. And I just got some black, uh, automotive carpet. This one website, I forget the name of it, but... It was like 70 bucks for 80 inches wide by, I think, 12 feet. Yeah, 12 feet long, because it was 4 yards. So... Yeah. And, and uh, well I made like a little flat panel back there and carpeted that as well, so it was like a little my so it makes my uh, wheel well like a um not my wheel well, my spare tire well like a storage unit. And uh I ordered yesterday I ordered a uh, OEM uh rear speaker deletes for the backs, so that'll cover that. And because my old ones are fucking shot and all cracked and everything. And uh this asshole. But, uh, see, so yeah, I've been doing a lot on the hatch. Currently just draining the oil. Because I'm pulling off the pen tomorrow to drill a hole in two for the oil. Alright, so there's oil drain. Because, yeah, she's boosted now. And, uh, got a little eBay 57 trim out in there. Godspeed, but it's whatever. Uh,. I mean, I don't really care because my first year even running a turbo car, even first time even boosting it, and first time building a car. Well, my own car at least. And uh, I'm all alone on this, so hopefully all goes well. With that, I'm going to plan on turning the key in like three weeks or so. I'll definitely record that. And uh, if all goes well, then I'll end up putting that in a video. And then I'll pull everything back apart and I'll start saving for cams. Well, not everything. I'll pull the valve cover off and shit. But yeah. I'll start saving for cams and springs and retainers and all of that, so that'll all come along. I mounted the front intercooler, which looks really good. It's like perfectly centered. It's kind of small, but I'm not pushing the high, stupid 500, 600 horsepower numbers, which I wouldn't aren't stupid, actually, that'd be dope, but I'm not aiming for anything like that. Um, yeah, to, I uh, got the oil drain lines already for the A&M fittings, so I could just drill a hole. Weld the uh, adapter on for the oil pan, and then I'll screw everything on. The oil drain thing, or oil drain thing goes on the bottom here. And, uh, yeah. Then... Oh, yeah, I ordered the sandwich plate the other day as well. The same day I ordered the rear speaker deletes, so I'll be able to run the oil feed. Now I gotta order a fucking oil feed line. Um... Because the turbo kit didn't come with one for some reason. Not knowing what that would be, but for some reason. Uh, I'm pretty sure I showed you, but if not, the whole roof is primed. Looks pretty good. It's all nice and smooth. Compared to what it was before. Uh, hey, oh man, I don't really have any shots when I first got the car, because it was bad. Like, I'll, I'll probably post a picture like when I'm closer done with the car. Of what the, a whole body, like, all the body work looked like and shit, and you guys would be so surprised. Even the base come a long way. It was like, you guys saw the bay before. I showed some engine bay pictures. If you guys watched my previous videos, if not, go check them out. But yeah, uh, I painted the whole engine too. I don't know if I showed that. That all looks really good. I'm like a rattle can pro out here. It's a little dirty right now just because all the dust in my garage from sanding and all that shit. But the bay originally like it looked so good. So next year I'm gonna clean it all up and it should look just as good as again. Just as good again. And uh. Yeah, that's really all I got to show you guys now. Well, not like it's like nothing, but not like a super long video of anything because I don't like go crazy into detail. But next time you see it, I might even do it tomorrow just to show like how to drill for an oil pan or something like that. Stupid. And I'll show a little bit on Joel's car because we uh, just laid some sealer down so we could lay primer tomorrow. But the game's on tomorrow, so no, long, no telling how long we're going to be working on this car, but. Aiming to get all the base laid and everything at least. So we can lay, cle lay, low. lay clear the following day. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just not going to make this a separate video. I'll probably put it in tomorrow's video as well. But yeah, that's a little update on the hatch. Showing you guys how it's going. Thanks for watching.
Peace. What's going on guys? It's the next day. I just woke up about a half hour ago. Got the heater going. I was gonna set the light, but it's pretty bright in here, so I'm good. Um right now I'm about to just chop the oil pan. Joel's about to prime his bay at like one ish, it's like eleven now. But I gotta head to the mall a little bit and then return my oil catch thing to my neighbor because I brought it from him. And those, the recyclable oil things, because you know, you don't dump that shit. So I'm gonna do all that. I'm probably gonna bring the oil pan over to his house. I'm gonna drill the hole for the oil return, or drain, whatever you wanna call it. And then, uh, well, then, uh, I don't know how you consider it, like, bone adapter, I don't know. But we're gonna weld in that. Yeah, so I don't have a freight, they had a pretty good deal going on. I picked up these, these were like 20 bucks. Step bits. Need to do invest in a couple of them anyway. So it's good to have. Then I saw this, just because. I figured, I figured I'd pick it up because I don't have one. And I always needed a torque wrench, so. These are like 30 bucks and I got one on sale for like 12 or something like that, so it's pretty cool to have. Comes with like a nice case and stuff. But yeah, I'm about to just drop the oil pan. Got a few bolts down here. Oh, a few. But yeah, and I actually, I was, I was training the oil yesterday and I actually noticed it's missing a bolt. Where is it? Right there. But yeah, I'm gonna drop all the rest of them. And yeah, I'll get back to you when it's on. When it's down. So the oil pan is off now. I'm currently just letting it sit with some degreaser and stuff out there. Uh, draining on the recyclable, recyclable thing. Yeah, it's all off. Um, that little bracket right there goes over the transmission. I'll show you where it goes. It goes like right here, and at first it covers two of the training bolts. That's why there's like two indents are there. And uh, at first I didn't know how to get it off. I tried looking up videos and all that stuff, but there's not really any on there, on like YouTube or anything. So I uh, figured it out myself. There's a 10 mil, but there's two 10 mil bolts, two 17s and two 12s, and you pull those off. And one for the bracket. I just put that bolt back in there. That one right there. And, uh, yeah. That's how you get that bracket, or not bracket, uh, case over or cover off. And, uh, yeah, that's how you get the pan off. I should be heading over to Joel's in a little bit. I got a shower and grab my check. And go to the mall. And then I'll be heading over there, so I'll pick up from there. See you. So what's going on, guys? It's Monday now. I ended up getting called in to work yesterday at at like 12.30 and I had to work 2 to 6.30 which kind of pissed me off because it was my day off and the game was yesterday but it's the next day so whatever um, I ended up going to work and I didn't feel like recording afterwards so I went to Joel's and I welded in the uh, the oil drain and um, a couple days ago I actually sandblasted my uh, old intake manifold I painted it silver it actually looks really good too bad I have no use for it. If you want to buy that, let me know. Uh, I got some extra parts. I got like the, I got like a new um, oil pan gasket, which I'm gonna use. Uh, these are the step bits I bought. This is like for the blow off valve or something, I assume. This is for the oil drain on the turbo. This as well. Oil drain lines in the garage. Uh, I think this is a stock fuel rail. Yeah, I think so. I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm pretty sure it's stock fuel oil. Uh, gaskets and shit. Couple of this. Just a bunch of random shit, really. But, uh, today I'm probably sending the bolting. Oh, here's the waste gate I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna buy this, let me know, too. And, uh, and my stock down body for sale as well. I'll sell it with the intake manual for like 60 bucks. I'm probably gonna go. And I'm gonna put on the oil pan and then finish running the drain, which is right on top of my engine. So, yeah, I'll get back to you when I'm about to do that because I'm gonna heat up the garage real quick. So, I just finished mocking up everything for the oil pan. I just put it up there and I mocked it up all right. Got the fittings already. Works all good. I had to turn the turbo housing because the oil drain was on the top. I don't know why they made it like that. 
But that the housing itself actually still spins for now because I have to set up the intercooler piping. It'll actually probably be just like this. I'm probably gonna run like an uh, like a 180 curve all the way around the, the thing with Jake. Intercooler. I'm probably gonna do like a 90 off of this, so it'll go down and around, and then it'll come all the way around to here. Well, it's probably where I'm gonna finish off for now. Uh. I we'll have to go out and get the car inspected and stuff like that, so not this car, the charger. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do afterwards. Don't, don't really know what I have to do. I'm probably going to get some hardware and bolts and shit. I'm going to pick up some oil for my buddy's work because he got the hookup for it. His dad owns a shop and he gets it for pretty cheap for me, so it's cool. Uh, but yeah, I got to order. Well, I got to order an oil feed line because I don't have one. But I got that all set up. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some oil probably. I'm probably gonna some hardware for the turbo because I don't have all the bolts. But yeah, I just gotta get inspected. And yeah, that's probably where I'm gonna leave off for now, but I'll pick up whenever I start recording again, I guess.